Assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel Park Gamer in today video I will try to install Windows 11 on this old PC now, this is a Call of Duty desktop with 2GB of RAM so let's get started so guys I have already made this Windows 11 USB uh, if you want to know how to make it you can comment in the uh, comment section I will make a video on this so I have plugged in the Windows 11 keyboard is not working so USB drives and press F1 to continue. So the Windows 11 setup. So, guys, um, it took me four minutes from the starting of Windows 10 logo, or oh sorry, Windows 11 to this screen so it all me all means took four minutes so I know we cannot bypass uh, from here we have to do some changes in the command industry and then we can bypass So it's taking too much time now. I think almost two, three, two minutes are gone on this screen. So yeah, it's taking very much time. I think I know it will take. So finally, we are on this screen. Click on this. I don't have product key. So as you can see, the PC does not meet the system requirements. So now, uh, here I will show you the way how you can bypass this. So guys, to bypass this screen, you have to press Shift and F10. So, so now here you have to press, uh, you have to type R E G E. I will paste all these commands in the description. You can also see there. Now this will be a window will be open industry editor. So on industry editor. You have to go to high local machine system setup. High local machine, and then you have to go to system and then setup. And now here you have to select on setup right click select new key now you have to uh, now you have to create a new uh, key here you have to click new key and so here you have to rename this to lab config lab on wait and 
press enter now on lab uh, config uh, right click and press yeah sorry we have to go to now d word 32 bit value and now you have to rename it bypass dm check and select value one data now again right click on lab config new and t word 32 bit and this uh, you have to rename it the same procedure you have to create this now on bypass ram check rename it and then create new bypass secure boot check so i will uh, post all these command in the description as you can see I have created these three registries so after that you have to press cross and click on back I don't have product key and voila we have bypassed the all system requirements so press next custom install so I will now delete all the drives I don't exactly know how much it uh, will take the space to install Windows 30 uh, 52 GB we need 50, at least 52 GB to install Windows 11 so I will also delete this partition new apply so I think it can also be if the can also be the cause if, if the hard is 80 GB and uh, if you need at least 54 GB so it can be the bottleneck the hard disk space can also create the bottleneck so let's see what happened press next so the process install uh, start copying files so let's see how much it will take time so guys uh, we are on the, this stage uh, getting ready so it is almost 50 minutes gone and I am installing Windows 11 on this audio PC so I know still it will take some time So guys, uh, finally we on the startup screen. So I'm recording this video on the next day because uh, it was taking too much time. It almost I spent one hour, and uh, after that I was uh, talking on the uh, phone and on this screen the PC goes to the on sleeping mode. So after that. Um, when I tried to turn it on back so it was taking too much time and so I thought I will complete this on next day so let's see how this goes on uh, yes skip uh, another thing if you are trying to install on this kind of old slow PC don't connect the internet uh, 
at this stage because it will take too much time continue with limited setup so park gamer and location i always turn off these options so we don't uh, use so guys i was uh, trying to download the vga driver so i was having some problem with my internet connection speed so while in this in this process uh, the windows 11 automatically i think it got some flicker then i think it has the drivers of display has been installed so let's see i think uh, the windows 10, uh, windows 11 was updating the video drivers automatically so we go to the display device manager So yes, it automatically updated my VGA driver and so now I will say it is little bit improvement in the performance but if you so I will recommend SSD, SSD is must if even you have Core i 310 duration you have seen my previous video that uh, for Windows 10 you must have SSD so then you can expect uh, any performance but on the old hard drives you can't use this so let's see how it will YouTube work YouTube I have some internet problem so guys let me know if you have, have any kind of problem installing Windows 11 in the comment section I will try to uh, answer your comments so till next video Allah Hafiz